get ready, folks. We're going to have a great performance. Our good friend uh, Carlos Manchaca is here from Yastros, a uh, flamenco company. Greg, you're in for a treat. I'm very excited. I've yeah. only seen it on YouTube, and so now I get to see it live. I'm yeah, excited. you got a front row seat. I right know. Here. I'm ready. <laughs> Greg Mays is here. He is uh, my co-host this week. Uh, Greg is managing editor of SimpleCocktails.com, and he has some cocktail news. Yeah, here that's right. A little got later coming in this up later. Hour. Yep. Right now, let me introduce you to uh, Tamaya Toulouse. Tamaya, welcome. Thank you. With the, I want to get this right, Yastros, the American Flamenco Repertory Company. Yes, they're amazing. And this yes. amazing company has been part of the National Institute of Flamenco that's been around in Albuquerque for 30 years now. And this is their upcoming performance, Yastros Vivimos, at the National Hispanic Cultural Center, November 6th, 7th, and 8th. It's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This will be their first performance since the fire that took their home of 15 years in downtown Albuquerque. Update on that. What, how, how's the, the recovery going? Doing very well, as a matter of fact. There's been so much outpouring of support from everyone in Albuquerque. So we have a new facility that will be open in January of 2015. It's a midterm facility at 1620 Central Avenue, directly across the street from Tierra Adentro of New Mexico, the beautiful charter school, 6th through 12th grade, that's already there. So this will be a midterm solution, 3,800 square feet, three dance studios, administrative offices, the retail space will be back, and room enough to do all of the beautiful tablaos that people can come and see, the live dancing. Oh, good. You're going to do that again. That's nice. Yeah, it's, it's really a part of the community. It's been a part of the fabric of Albuquerque and New Mexico for so long that people wanted to make sure that that could come back. What that is, is you, you, they set up a little close-up show like you're about right. to have here yeah. and you come in you can bring a bottle of wine bring your friends enjoy a, a up-close flamenco performance it's oh that sounds amazing really something it's yeah. amazing it's all call and response so this is as artistry as you see it in the moment it's not all scripted and choreographed and you don't find a lot of that anymore yeah. it goes with the cultural experience and of course is one of the most beautiful things you'll see in albuquerque oh yeah that's thrilling now you guys always pack the house for your performances how are ticket sales going doing pretty well as a matter of fact of course we always want more we always want that last ticket to be sold as people are walking in the doors so you can get your tickets at nhccnm.org the natural national hispanic cultural center website uh, of course you can go by our office and ask for tickets over at Tierra Adentro, and we'd be happy to hear from you. But yes, we have three nights. We'd love to fill it and make sure that we've got a packed house for the first performance since the fire. I've, I've been to this before. It's it's just fascinating. It's wonderful. It's really we love flamenco on this show, and I want to thank in advance Carlos for coming back. It's about his fourth or fifth appearance here, <laughs> and uh, I'm glad he comes back. Can you introduce uh, our performers? Yes, absolutely. This is Carlos and Mario. They're both uh, soloists and performers with the Hastros American Repertory Flamenco Company, and we're glad to have them this morning as our, our personal artists to show what uh, you can see some of at the Hastro Show in November. Okay, let's bring them on and have a little flamenco here on The Morning Brew. Gentlemen, take it away. Thank you. 
I love this guy. <laughs> what else can you say? I mean, there couldn't be anything I, more fantastic than that kind of There's no words, and you get a whole show of that, both solo artists and mm -hmm. company uh, flamenco dances. Absolutely. So this is all new choreography. Hastros is a repertory company. They're constantly coming out with new choreography. Our artistic director, Joaquin Insanias, will also have choreography from Sonia Oya, from Jose Maya, from uh, Carmen La Talagona, and Nino de los Reyes. So a lot of beautiful things that you've never seen before on stage. It's a hot show. That is, I'm, I'm stunned. I, I'm literally, <laughs> no like words, you said, right? speechless. I'm completely speechless. It's yeah. fantastic, especially for the ticket price. I don't think there's anything else like it in New Mexico. No, and you get not. You get a lot for the work. But, of course, you know, it all goes towards the resurrection fund. And uh, the monies uh, you can also donate and come in as a member or fall membership campaign. For $25, you can put in for new costumes, 1,500 of which we have to replace after the fire. Uh, yeah. You can also put in for students and scholarships or even the campaign fund to move us into a new facility. So we'd love to have everybody there. Here's some That's photos great. of uh, the, the company in action and uh, some beautiful ladies and very dynamic guys in Incredibly this. virtuosic men. Yeah. I think it's one of the greatest things for young men in our community to see that dance is certainly something to be reckoned with when you're a man on stage. Yeah, beautiful. All right, tickets still available. Are there How many performances? Three? Uh, three performances. Okay. Thursday, November 6th at 7 p.m., Friday and Saturday, November 7th and 8th at 8 p.m. at the Hispanic Cultural Center. Tickets are $15 to $45 at the Hispano Cultural website, nhccnm.org. Carlos, Mario, thank you so much, gentlemen, for, yeah. for, for, for performing. And uh, you're welcome back anytime. Tamaya, wonderful. It's a pleasure. Yeah, yeah very good. There you go. There's our uh, flamenco performance, and uh, we have more to come on the Morning Brew right after this.